Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryder Matsuro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samaya aka, Dariole G, Crazy Boss V31, Foxy and even Weez GNZ Gaming. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install Map Editor. And now we are going to test this mod to see if it works. And the mod that we are going to test is okay, the Tow Truck and Garage. So we are going to install this mod. But unfortunately, that this mod does require Map Builder. So we are going to install Map Builder as well. So technically, this video is all about on how to install a map editor, map builder, and even the tow truck garage. So there will be three tutorials in one video. So make sure you guys do listen and listen very carefully. And we are going to install these mods inside a clean GTA V folder. Once you have completed that, then download map editor. I will leave map editor inside my description below. Now map editor does require native UI version 1.7 so I'll leave native UI version 1.7 inside my description below. Now next make sure you download the tow truck garage and I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. Go inside my description and now click on the patreon.com link and now all you got to do is go over here and then download map builder over here unfortunately i have already downloaded map builder so i don't need to download it now once you have finished with that don't forget to download game config make sure it is the latest version now once you have finished with that map editor does require as it says inside the description it does require visual c plus plus okay so i will leave this inside my description below make sure you do download this as well now once you guys have finished downloading all of the requirements and even the three mods map builder map editor and the tow truck garage we're going to get started all you got to do is go to your grand theft Auto v game hover over it right click and open the file location now as you can see this folder is completely empty there's no mods in here so before we do start anything, go to your Open IV. Now go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now this process will take a few seconds. All you gotta do is go to your tools up top on your left hand side, then go down to ASI Manager. Once your application is open, go to your ASI Loader and install ASI Loader. Install OpenIV.ASI and then I select yes and then install open camera now close your application and just minimize your open IV once you have finished with that just scroll right down the bottom okay on your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now we are going to install the latest requirements so all you got to do okay is open up your script hook V extract folder inside that folder there will be a bin folder. Open up your bin folder. And now select dinpot8.dll, scripthookv.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now this application will pop up. Just select replace. And that's all you gotta do. Exit out of your extract folder. And now open up your scripthookv.net extract folder. Now inside that folder there will be a few files, all you got to do is select all the files except for the two text files and drag it inside your 
Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Now next, all you gotta do is, this is optional, okay? You don't have to do this if you want to, but it's totally up to you. We are going to install a uh, simple trainer, okay? And now, all you gotta do for a simple trainer is select your trainer v.asi and .ini, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now go to your Minio extract folder and all you gotta do is select Minio stuff folder in Minio.asi and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now once you have finished with that, all you gotta do next is go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh the game folder, right click and create a new folder and make sure you name that folder scripts. Now make sure you do spell scripts correct. So make sure that they are all lowercase and press enter. Now press enter again. And now we are going to install a map editor. To install map editor, okay. All you gotta do is open up your map editor extract folder. Now inside that folder, all you gotta do is select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. And now next, open up your native UI version 1.7 extract folder. And now all you gotta do next is Select your native UI.dll file and drag it inside your scripts folder. This application will pop up. All you gotta do is replace files. Exit out of your extract folder. And now we have fully installed map editor and map editor will work. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And now all you gotta do next is that we are going to install map builder. So to install Map Builder, go back to your OpenIV, go to your Tools, go down to Package Installer over here, and then now all you gotta do is that you gotta find your Map Builder Mod.oiv, which is over here, Map Builder Mod.oiv, and now select Open. This application will pop up. Select install and now make sure you do install it inside your mods folder and then now confirm your installation now this process will take a few minutes it might take a one hour it all depends on your pc performance so i'm going to pause the video and i'll see you guys once it's complete and we're back again so we are here and as you guys can see that the install is complete so once you have complete it, your install all you got to do is just close your application now minimize your open iv go back to your grand theft auto v main folder all you got to do is open up your tow truck mod extract folder now inside that folder all you got to do is open up the other folder that's inside there now we do have a few files in here but to make things easy, all you gotta do is go to your tow.xml file and then now drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and that's all you gotta do. Now with these other files, it is it is completely different, okay? But it is still the same mod, so you don't need to install these, okay? So exit out of your extract folder now the next thing that we are going to do is install our game config now all you got to do is open up your game config extract folder uh, if i can see find it right there so open up your game config extract folder and inside that folder will be a few folders and files go to your gta v config folder now go right down the bottom and you'll see five times traffic and five times paid. Open up your game config folder. Now go back to your OpenIV and now go to your mods folder. Go to your update folder. 
go to update.rpf file, go to your common file, go to data, now scroll right down the bottom and you'll see gameconfig.xml. Make sure you go up here to edit mode and select yes. Now all you got to do next is select your gameconfig.xml file inside your extract folder and drag it inside your OpenIV. Go to edit mode, select GTAV and then exit out of your OpenIV, exit out of your extract folder and now all you got to do next is go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, make sure that you check all your files and exit out of your Grand Theft Auto V folder and then right click, refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back as Trevor. So as you guys can see, I am in the game and my game did not crash. So once you're in the game, all you gotta do is go to your keyboard and now select F7. Now as you can see, my map editor menu is opening, which means map editor is working. Then all you gotta do is go to your load, map, and then I'll go down to file chooser and go right down the bottom and you'll see toe.xml now select that and now press enter now your game will freeze for a few seconds or maybe a minute or two depending on your PC performance so all you gotta do is just wait for a few um, a few seconds okay but I'm gonna pause the video so I can make it faster now as you guys can see on my left hand side it says that map editor is loaded so map editor is loaded if you do not have that coming up then you installed map editor wrong so hold on guys i'm just going to turn the audio down there we go now all you guys got to do is go to your uh, like just turn around and you'll see the mod right there see that is one huge building over there so you guys already seen the inside of this building um you've seen it inside my recent videos so i don't need to go over the whole thing but i'm just going to go and run over here so, I can, so you guys can see what the mod looks like there's a lot of details and the doors does open and um, these people in here and etc and all you gotta do is come over here and now uh, you can park your tow truck here or your unwanted vehicles now we're going to go and fly through the whole mod so you guys can actually see the mod hold on uh there you go now this is the whole mod that, that you guys can see uh it's basically this whole building over here too and it's really really cool i really do like this mod that's why i still got this mod inside my computer so this mod is pretty awesome, I really like it. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. So I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. That mod is an awesome mod, the tow truck garage mod. But like always, make sure you do install the latest requirements and make sure you do install the native UI version 1.7. Make sure it is not the latest version of native UI. Make sure it is version 1.7 because map editor only requires 1.7. So make sure you do install 1.7. And like always guys, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then let me know in the comments. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then let me know in the comments. I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. Or if you do get stuck and you want fast reply, then go into my Discord server. I will leave my Discord server inside my description below. So go to my Discord server and then now you guys can contact me there and now let me know on what support you want. And then I'll be more than welcome to help you out on there. So with that was said, if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button. Or if this video did help you, then smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out